Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week and you had a good Tuesday and a good win uh, and a good Monday and now it's Wednesday. So let's start with our um, sound cards. So we'll do those first. Ready? Almost done. Okay, very good. Now let's do our, our controlled vowels and our um, vowel teams. Ready? Repeat after me. O O school O. O O book O. Uh. E W chew O. U E blue O. U E I'm sorry. U E rescue U. A W saw A. A Y play A. O E to O. That's my cat if you can hear that scratching. O E to O. O Y boy oi. E E jeep E. E R her er. E Y key E A I bait A O W snow O O W plow ow A U August aw E A eat E 
O A boat O. O U trout owl. O U soup oo. O I coin oi. U R burn er. O R horn or. A R car R. Excuse me. And I R bird er. All right. Good job, everyone. So we're going to continue to talk about our ES suffix. So I want you to think for a second. When do you add an ES suffix? What letters does, our, does a base word have to end with to add our ES suffix? There's a couple letters that if the word ends in this, 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 or this, you get an ES suffix. So think for a second. What are the letters? that our base word has to end with to add the ES suffix. So you might have thought of X, S, Z, SH, or CH. So all these letters, if our word ends in an X, it gets the ES suffix. If it ends in an S, it gets the ES suffix. If it ends in a Z, it gets the ES suffix. Ends in SH, ES suffix, CH, ES suffix. So we have a word of the day today and our word of the day is the word inches. So think in your head, how would you spell the word inches? Inches. How would you spell that? So think to yourself, how would I spell the word inches? How would I spell the word inches? I'm going to mark it up and write it for you. This is our word inches. So notice we have its ES suffix. So why is there an ES suffix? Why is it written like that? Why is it spelled like that? Because our word inch is our base word and it ends with CH, which is one of our letters oops, that get the ES suffix, CH at the bottom. So our word inch ends with CH. So we added the ES suffix. And then we marked it up, inch, so close, oops, forgot the C, close syllable, marked our short I, circled our suffix, and there you have it, inches. What's our base word in the word inches? What would be the base word? The base word is inch. Where's my note card? Oh, here it is. The base word is inch. So from inch, two inches, one inch, 10 inches, one inch, 20 inches. Okay. So remember we knew to add our ES suffix because our base word ended in CH. All right. Awesome. Good. So now I am going to, whoops, write some words. I'm going to write some base words. And you have to decide if you give it an S suffix or an ES suffix. So I'm going to write some base words. Let's do this word. This word is goblin, like a scary goblin. If I wanted to add a suffix, would I add the ES suffix or the S suffix? ES or S? What would you say? You would add just the S. Goblin. Goblin to goblins. One goblin, two goblins. One goblin, two goblins. So why did we just add the S? Why didn't I add ES? Why didn't I add ES? because our word doesn't end with any of these. Our, end, our word ends with an N. Our base word ends with an N. So that's not on our list. So we just give it the S suffix from goblin to goblins. One goblin, 
two goblins. Okay, let's try another one. Let's, oops. Let's do the word. Branch. Look at this word. Does this get the S suffix or the ES suffix? Branch. Oops. Branch. S or ES? It would get the ES suffix from branch, branch to branches. One branch is just a tiny tree with one branch. And then it grew into a big tree with lots of branches. So how did we know that it needed the ES suffix? How did we know? What clue did we see to know that we should add the ES? How did you know? Because of this trusty CH at the end. Our base word, branch, ends with a CH. So you should have thought, oh, ends with a CH. So it gets the ES suffix, okay? What's that? So from branch, one branch, two branches, two branches, three branches. Because our base word branch ended with CH. And so if it ends with CH, you know to give it an ES suffix. All right, let's do another one. Let's do... Um, this word. So what word is this? What word is this? This is the word baseball. So would I add an S suffix or an ES suffix? S or ES? We would add just an S to make it baseballs. So we have one baseball. He only had one baseball. Then he got some more for his birthday, so he had more baseballs. He had a baseball, just one. And then he got more, so he had many baseballs. So baseball to baseballs. All right, very good. Let's do another one. Um. What is this word? Hmm. What word is this? This is the word rush. So would we add the suffix S or ES to the word rush? S or ES? What do you think? S or ES? It would be ES. From rush, we rush out the door, to rushes. She rushes out the door. So we rush out the door, to rushes. She rushes out the door. She was late, so she rushes out the door. And so how did you know it was the ES suffix? How'd you know that? How did I know that? Just by looking at the word, how did you know? Oh, I know this word gets an ES because of our sh our base word rush ends with an sh which is one of our letters that it uh, word ends with to get an es so we knew to add our es suffix so from rush which is our base word rush to rushes rush to rushes all right let's do one more. Let's try one last word. Let's do one we haven't done yet. Hmm. I know this, this is a good one. Okay. What word is this? What word is this? This is the word crunch. So, would the word crunch 
get an es suffix or an s suffix es or s it would get an es suffix why why is it an es suffix how did we know because our base word crunch ends with a ch which is one of our trusty letters that gets an es suffix so our base word ends with a ch so we knew oh there's ch we need to add our es suffix so our base word would be what what's our base word what's our base word it would be crunch crunch like the leaves crunch under her feet the leaves crunch under her feet and then our word crunches she runs through the leaves and crunches them so from crunch to crunches and we knew we did our es suffix because our word ended with ch all right awesome good job now we are going to do a little um, dictations real quick. We won't do a lot. We'll just do one sentence. So I want you to go get a piece of paper or a pencil or whatever and or a whiteboard. Get your stuff. I'm sorry. I'm distracted by my cat who keeps clawing at the door. I get your piece of paper and a pencil. Meet me back here and we'll do one sentence. Okay. Okay. We'll do one sentence. All right. So hopefully you're ready. If you're not, go ahead and pause and then we will continue when you come back. But your first sentence, is, your only sentence is, those lunches are good. 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 All right. The sentence was, those lunches are good. All right. I want you to pause the video if you need extra time. Pause it, finish writing, and then unpause it because I'm going to keep going. So we've been taking a little bit long today. So the sentence was, those lunches are good. So your sentence should say, those T-H-O-S-E, lunches, L-U-N-C-H-E-S. So we knew to add our E-S suffix because our word ended in C-H, lunch to lunches, lunch to lunches. So those lunches are A-R-E, good. G-O-O-D. We've got our O-O vowel team right there. So those lunches are good. And obviously an exclamation point. And we begin with a capital. So those lunches are good. And remember, we added our E-S suffix to the word lunches because it ends, our base word ends with C-H. So we saw, oh, lunch ends with C-H. So we need to make it lunches with an ES suffix. So those lunches are good. Exclamation point. So hopefully you have that, which I'm sure you do. And that's it for today. So I hope you guys have a great Wednesday and I will see you back here tomorrow.